Mukhang brownout sa shop, pero umaandar pa rin yung computer. Paano nila ginawa yan? That's the power of a UPS. Basically, big battery siya. Pag namatay yung kuryente because of a brownout, automatically lilipat yung computer mo from drawing power from the outlet sa UPS na siya kukuha ng power. Tapos instantaneous to, hindi mo mamatay yung computer mo. Pero hindi pang matagalan yung UPS. It just has enough power para ma-save mo yung data mo and then to shut down properly. Sounds good, right? So ano yung issue sa UPS? Yung mahirap sa UPS, it's really hard to determine ano ba yung capacity na kailangan mo for your particular system. Yung measurement ng UPS is in VA. And magkaiba yun dun sa wattage ng PSU. The general rule is 60% VA to the watt capacity of your PSU. This is a 1,500 VA UPS. 60% of that is 900. So theoretically, kaya niya around a 900 watt system. Yung problema, hindi linear yung pagkuha ng kuryente from the UPS. For example, di mo masabi na ah, itong system na to, every 2 minutes, mababawasan ng 10% yung power ng UPS. Hindi siya ganon. Patalon-talon yung pag-consume or pagkuha ng kuryente from the UPS. So, it's uh, very difficult to determine really anong capacity ng UPS na kailangan mo for a particular system. Mahirap talaga sabihin, how long will it last? Yun lang naman yung bottom line na usually tinatanong ni customer. Ito yung computer ko, ito yung naka-plug in, gaano katagal bago mamatay using the UPS. Now, thanks to Prolink, who lent us five different UPS of various VA capacities, Tinesting ko talaga siya sa computer ko, nag-crash siya more than 30 times kasi sinisimulate ko yung pag-consume talaga, pag-exhaust ng UPS. We can say with reasonable confidence what capacity UPS you need for a particular system. So I use my computer for all the tests. It's a high-end system but not super bonkers high-end. R7 3700X CPU, RTX 3080, Everything powered by an FSP 80 plus gold 750 watt PSU. Plugged into this computer is also my Xiaomi monitor light bar. And aside from the computer being plugged into the UPS, I also plugged in the three monitors. One monitor, primary monitor, and the third monitor. I do have a fourth TV which I use as a fourth monitor, but that wasn't plugged into any UPS. And the software running on this setup was just my usual workload. So I had Notion, Slack, Viber, WhatsApp, Qubit Torrent, Google Drive, ShareX, and Corsair Stream Deck running in the background, along with three browsers, two Firefox and one Brave. And between those three browsers, there were 18 tabs in total open. Now that normal workload doesn't stress out the GPU, our first three tests we did was just on that normal workload. But we did an additional three tests using the GPU. We ran 3 Mark Time Spy, which is a common benchmarking tool for GPUs. Basically, we just wanted to get some kind of load on the GPU so that it would start using a power, it would stress the GPU out a little bit, so we could see how the UPS performed, not just with these very office-like tasks of multitasking, which is usually CPU-based, but also if we inject some heavy-duty performance running the GPU. To simulate the brownout, we plugged everything into the UPS, and then the UPS itself was plugged into an adapter with a switch, then to the outlet. Turning off the switch kills the power coming from the outlet, a simple but effective way to simulate a blackout. Once that switch is turned off, the UPS switches instantly to battery power. And whatever is plugged into the UPS starts drawing power from the battery of the UPS rather than the wall outlet. In some of our testing, the UPS would not drain completely. The red warning light would not go off, but the PC would restart anyway. For those cases, we mark the time of restart as the end of the test since it's not useful to the user anymore even if there is still power left in the USP any data not saved before the restart may have been lost or corrupted. Yun nga yung buong point ng UPS to keep your PC alive long enough to save everything and shut down properly. On to the results, we had to modify the test a little for the two smaller UPS, the 650VA and the 850VA. Di nila kaya yung three monitors plus the computer. They would fail immediately. 
it would also fail immediately when we started the GPU test. Most of these failures were like the type mentioned earlier where the red battery about to be drained light did not come on. Instead, the PC just restarted right away, indicating that the UPS just wasn't able to keep up with the power requirements of the system to power everything. So for the 650 and 850 VAs, we just had the PC and my primary monitor, which is a BenQ 2K IPS 144Hz monitor plugged in. And the results for the smaller capacity VAs were kind of weird actually. <laughs> We had one great day with both of them where they lasted a long time, particularly the 850VA. But in the other tests, the 650VA lasted less than a minute. We got slightly longer results on the 850VA, but definitely a lot of variance when using the smaller capacity UPS, perhaps because of the high relative power demands of our testing setup. The 1200VA is the first level where we see somewhat consistent results with times that would allow the user to leisurely save and shut down. The longest stretch it did was an impressive 14 minutes and 23 seconds. When we throw in the GPU though, the results really plummet and that's an indication of how much power a GPU uses. What's new, right? The 1200VA was consistent at least with the results on the average of just shy of a minute. Not a lot of time to kill everyone and win your online match. We saw significantly longer times with the 1500VA, and this particular 1500VA unit we got was a beast. <laughs> Oftentimes its performance was just short of the 2000VA, making me wonder about the silicon lottery but for batteries. When making chips, there will be some which just perform better even though all of them were manufactured to have the same performance. Tingin ko ganito yung nangyari dito sa particularly good 1500 VA unit na nakuha namin. The shortest time before it failed was a whopping 17 minutes and 21 seconds with its longest performance running to almost 25 minutes. GPU performance was still a lot shorter than needed to finish a game but it was very decent with an average of around 2 minutes. 2 minutes is a lot of breathing room to save any renders, CADs, models, or any other GPU-intensive work you might be doing. It's not enough time to actually finish a render, but I'm sure you already saved your work before rendering, diba? Right? We saw a marginal gain with the 2000 VA. Numbers were just slightly better overall than the 1500 VA for multitasking, but there was a clear performance gain in the GPU test where it consistently beat the 1500VA, but again, not by a large margin. So what did we learn? First of all, tama nga, variable talaga yung consumption of power from a UPS system. Although you do see a slight progression, the larger the VA, the longer on the average it lasts. I'd be very hesitant though to trust any system, kahit work system, office computer, na di naman ganun kalakas yung power consumption. Even that kind of system, I would be wary of trusting it with a 650 VA. Parang sobrang liit lang talaga ng capacity ng 650 VA. And kaya ka nga bumibili ng UPS para sigurado ka, di ka kakabahan na you have enough time to save your work. So based on our testing, at least the bare minimum for any system would be 850 VA. If you have a performance rig like this one, actually the sweet spot appears to be the 1200 VA. Was really impressed on how long it was able to keep the PC going. Certainly, dami mong oras para makasave ng Word document, Excel files, shut down the browsers, everything like that. With a 1200 VA UPS, you're pretty sure that you can get everything done with a lot of time to spare, even if you have a performance rig like this one. Pero para sa mga multitasking lang yun, yun nga yung mga usual work-related programs, you really can't game on a UPS. Kahit nakita natin dun sa 2000 VA system, it was such a short time added from the point of brownout to the point na nag-fail yung UPS or namatay yung computer. With the 2000 VA system, yes, you might be able to save, let's say you're playing a GPU-intensive story game, so it does have save points, you have the luxury of saving. You might be able to save your game and then shut down properly. 
Pero kung nag online game ka, tapos biglang nag brown out, it's very doubtful that you would be able to finish an online match even with a 2000 VA system. So price to performance, I'd really recommend 1200 VA for just about anybody. If medyo gipit sa budget, 850 VA, okay na, but I wouldn't expect it to last that long if you have power-hungry hardware. I did post that I was going to do this video and there were a lot of useful comments describing other questions na sana masagot to go to UPS. Yung problema, the scope of this video is just to answer one simple question. Ilang VA ba talaga kailangan mo for your system? But there are a whole lot of other good questions out there about UPS. What brand to buy? Do you need a pure sine wave or a simulated sine wave? How often do you need to replace the actual battery of the UPS? And dami mga tanong tungkol sa UPS. Unfortunately, that's outside the scope of this video. This isn't a sponsored video, although to be honest, yung usual brand namin sa shop for UPS is ProLink, sometimes some APC. If you do have other questions or have experience with UPS, please do share them in the comments para baka gumawa kami ng follow-up video. Maybe using a different computer kasi kawawa na tong rig ko na to 40 times ata siya nag-shutdown at the minimum for this simulated brownout test to the UPS. If you're looking for more information about itong mga UPS, AVR, we do have an old video and I would suggest checking that out. Very informative for the basics of UPS as well as kailangan mo ba talaga nung AVR ngayon. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.